Destiny's audience was just not that upset by the idea of me making jokes about or statements about cuties, controversial, whatever. They, they're like, that doesn't really bother me. It triggers the fuck out of these other people who I think are stupid. So, you know, we love Mr. Girl. He's willing to bite bullets. But that, that affection for many of DGG only goes as far as as long as you think the bullets are okay to bite. When it comes to women in relationships, I lost a lot of people. They're, they're, a certain contingent of people are like, well, we would rather you just keep that shit to yourself. We don't want to see it. And we don't want to see you saying this is how I am. We don't want you to be like that. We want you to cover that part Keep up. hating your life then, working class um, Andy. And, and so to the point where they'll, they'll start deconstructing the whole thing. Um, I can understand Where in the his... actual fuck do we go to buy the uniforms? All of your shop... Uh, 15th. It's not out for like three more days, okay? Um... Being able to bite a bullet is in and of itself commendable, but people are still going to judge what bullets you're biting, right? Like, if you come out and you're like, you know what, I think women need to do more work in relationships. Like, wow, that's brave to say. Nice job. And then if you come out and you're like, you know what, I think black people are actually genetically inferior to white people. Yeah, you're biting a bullet, but, like, people aren't necessarily going to be happy with everything you have to say while you're biting bullets, right? Like, it's just kind of, it's just kind of a given. Okay, we're rolling. Keep hating your life then, working class Andy. I just need the last piece of armor. Please just give it to me on the first one. Give it to me on the first one. Oh! Sorry. I just. I so you think people would be mad at a girl that behaves in an argument the way Mr. Girl does in that video with his GF? Um, yeah, probably. Well, the real reason is that you're fighting with Mr. Girl and your relationship stuff, so chat is following your opinion. If you fought Mr. Girl on the cutie stuff, chat would change their opinion. Uh, maybe. Keep hating your life then, working class Andy. What was this Vosh post? I think that these guys, um... God, you are so fucking hot. Yes, this sexual argument. Full screen and show me that ass again. I, I think that this Vosh poster read my tweet as being not ironic. Like, they actually thought I was saying AOC is super soy, but Canadian truckers were based. I... <laughs> Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm just... Her views haven't changed. She's just aware that she has to be more careful before she gets Molyneux, and Destiny is coaching her with this. He's reviewing her videos before she uploads them to YouTube. Bro, I don't even review my own videos before I upload them to YouTube. Jeez. New, <laughs> new lore drop. Destiny is not a liberal. All of his politics are based on antagonism for antagonism's sake. People in Ottawa couldn't sleep for weeks. The secret reason, reason for this clash is that Destiny, in true contrarian fashion, saw Vosh's commitment to his friendship with Sue and has since decided he doesn't like being friends with populists. <laughs> true. <laughs> that's actually, that's the true take. That if one person holds all the power with no checks and balances... You hold all the power right now. They will commit atrocities. You hold all the power right now. I am nothing. I'm a nameless, faceless person, and you still felt the need to just beat everything out of me. When I came with my tail in between my legs, I, my voice was shaking when I entered this call and you saw a chink uh, and you went for it. And of course, and everything you said is- That if one person holds all the power- oh, I don't even know what the context is. I have to record two ads today also. I'll probably do that on the front end of the stream once this dryer is over. Ooh. Okay, <clears throat> Shrek. <clears throat>
Background game tier list. Where'd that one loot guy go? Create a Destiny background game tier list. Is this like what my favorite games are or what are best for stream? On the triple beam. I'm sticking to the script. You niggas get <laughs> to see. On I, 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 okay, I don't care. Stop. Jesse, I want black people. I want black people, Jesse. Jesse, I want black people. Why, why did you re-record the music in the weird and then your voice? What is happening on this? Jesse. Okay, I'm going to assume it's best for stream. Um, Hades is C tier. Kenshi, for some reason, this is the only background game where people actually seem to kind of like the gameplay. So I'll put that as A tier. Vampire Survivors, easy to talk to other people and do politics. This is an S tier one. Auction Not Included needed a lot of brain power, so probably not that good. C tier, RimWorld needed a lot of brain power, not that good. Um, Loop Hero, I had to think about. Factoria, we've done a lot of politics and stuff in the background. That seemed to work out okay. Hi. Valheim was actually decently entertaining. I'll give that one that. Darkest Dungeon, too much brain power. Rust had some, oh, we'll give that a B. Terraria, we'll give that a B. Stardew Valley with Peach, that was, nobody liked this gameplay. <laughs> Sevtech, <laughs> Rift Breaker, um, did we do politics in the background with this one? I think we kind of did. Um, Fell Seal, those people hated this one. Obamna. League of Legends, <laughs> not good. XCOM 2, need a lot of brain power. The last spell is not, I don't think I've done too much politics of that. Melvor, I've never even really done on stream. Keep hating your life then, working class <clears throat> Andy. Stellaris need a lot of brain power. I don't, I barely played this one. Yo, Dest, if you ever went to jail and oh, had to join a gang, going, oh, would you join the Aryans or the Latinos? Forger, um, I don't think I've something like this. Do it based on which games I liked more. Oh, like in terms of what games are good? How do I reset it? Reset. Okay. Hades is a very, very, very good game. Uh, I have to bump this to S tier. The voice acting and everything is really well done. The gameplay is super tight. That's good. Kenshi is an amazing game. I'm only putting it at A because it's not as polished. There's a ton of glitchy, weird shit, but super duper ultra fun. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Um, <clears throat> Vampire Survivors is okay. It gets a little bit boring, but it's like a $3 game, right? Isn't it? Like, how, you can't blame them for it. Um, Auction Not Included is a very good game. Um, if you're into these types of autism games, this is highly recommended. So is RimWorld. Absolutely. Um, Loop Hero was okay for a bit. Factorio is just one of the best autism games of all time. Valheim was okay. Lacking a lot of polish. Okay to, like, play with friends for a while, though. Um, Definitely had a lot of issues, but I don't. It's probably been updated. Darkest Dungeon, the original, is a very good game. That's an A tier game for sure. Um, Rust is pretty solid too. I'll just throw this up here. I'll give this an A tier. Um, Terraria is very, very, very good and polished with amazing mods. Terraria is probably an S tier game. Um, Stardew Valley is super good. I'll give that A tier for sure. Um, Sevtech, it's Minecraft modded, decent. I'll, I'll, I'll give that a B tier. Yeah, Subtech was fun. Um, Fell Seal was okay-ish. Scratch my Final Fantasy Tactics urge. I'll put this in S tier. Rise Rimworld not in the S tier. Um, no, nah, yeah, you're right. Rimworld is an S tier game. This is like a genre defining game, actually. You're right. Melvor Idol is an idol game. <laughs> League, lol. Um, Stellaris is pretty fun. I don't know if it's the best Paradox game though. It does okay. It gets the job done. Is this that one? I don't remember what this is called. I don't care about this fucking game. Uh, XCOM 2 is a lot of fun. Good game. Polished. Um, I'll throw that in the A tier. B Rising so far has been pretty fun. We'll see where we end up with that. The Rift Breaker game was solid, but like short gameplay, not as interesting. I'll B tier this one. 
Forger, Forger is actually really good. I think this, Forger is underrated. It's like, it has all the autism grinding and shit, but like you can clear 100% of the achievements in this game in like three days. So I command props to that. Um, I think the last spell is fun so far, but they need to polish their shit up a lot, so. Why is Binding of Isaac and D? I just, I don't like Binding of Isaac and I don't like the fan base. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like an okay game. I just don't care that much about it. It was kind of boring for me, but. Yesterday, your streamer tier list came in my recommendations yesterday, and it was literally unhinged. No meme. What was that about? I don't know. What that's supposed to mean. Does Terraria Calamity get a different ranking from Vanilla? Vanilla Terraria is really good. The Calamity mod is really good too, though. <laughs> you plan on playing the Factory expansion when it comes out? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah.